Here are my rankings for the best ways to ground yourself, starting with the worst. Number five, the worst way to ground yourself is with grounding mats. So grounding mats actually plug into the ground port of an electrical outlet. So you are literally plugging a mat into your electrical outlet and then you stand or lay on the mat and allegedly you will be grounded. A lot of people put these mats in their bed and they literally sleep on them. I am personally a little sketched out by grounding mats. I can't tell if they're just a money grab in the wellness space or they actually work. I feel like there's definitely gotta be some EMF radiation associated with grounding mats. So I don't really trust grounding mats and I personally don't use one, especially considering every other method that I'm about to mention is literally free. So number four, walking barefoot. Walking barefoot is the most standard and super legit method just literally go outside, no shoes, no socks, just walk on the ground. It'll feel so great to just take those foot prisons off your feet and just feel that earth. Number three, cold plunging in a metal ice bath. So water is actually a very good conductor of electricity. So if you cold plunge in a metal ice bath that is on the ground, you will actually get benefits of grounding. And the best part is that because your whole body is submerged, your whole body will be exposed to the grounding effect. Keep in mind though, this has to be a metal tub, so if you're in a plastic or an acrylic ice bath, you may not get any grounding benefits. It's almost like the equivalent of wearing shoes when you're outside. You're literally separating yourself from the earth. The Morosco Forge actually claims that their ice baths are in fact heavily grounded and they've done a lot of third-party testing to show the grounding benefits of their specific ice baths. So I would say metal ice bath or a Morosco Forge. Number two, laying on the ground. This one is very similar to walking barefoot. The only difference is that laying will expose so much more of your body to the ground at once. Fun fact, our hunter-gatherer ancestors slept on the ground all the time, which in my opinion, sleeping grounded will allow you to get the best possible sleep. Although you may think that sleeping on a mattress would actually be better, I think that sleeping on the ground, like our ancestors, is probably going to give you the most effective sleep. I remember seeing a tour of the Liver King's house back in the day, and if I remember correctly, his beds were actually on the ground floor of his house, and they were also grounded to the earth, and he was basically sleeping on like wooden planks, so he was saying that his sleep was fully grounded, and he was just trying to mimic as best as possible how our hunter-gatherer ancestors used to sleep, and that of course would be grounded to the earth. And finally, the number one way to ground yourself. Drum roll please, the number one way to ground yourself is by cold plunging in the ocean. It's also the most dangerous way to cold plunge, so definitely do this at your own risk, but nonetheless, this is the best way to ground yourself from a health perspective. So why is this the case? For one, water is like the best conductor of electricity. It's better than land. So for example, if you're just walking barefoot, you'll actually get more grounding benefits from walking on moist land as opposed to walking on dry land. Also, the ocean water with its high salt and mineral content will make it an even better conductor. So for example, fresh water isn't as good of a conductor of electricity as ocean water. When you're in the ocean, as opposed to fresh water, every single bit of you is exposed to salt and minerals, and the ocean is just grounding your entire body in the best possible way. So obviously, cold plunging feels incredible when you get out, and there's a million different reasons for this, but one of the reasons that is often very missed is that there is a huge amount of grounding that takes place from an ocean plunge. This was a clip from my podcast, The Cold Plunge Podcast. If you want to see more clips like this, be sure to subscribe on all major podcast platforms. And check out the links in the description of this video for more.